by here. I just turned 27 Monday. Better than when you're not there, you know, starving. Because right now there's nothing out there for you. Yeah, that's my grandma last year. I love her. I don't know. I'm struggling. You know, this ain't me. Uh, they just gave me clothes. I didn't have no clothes. I've been wearing the same clothes for like three days. It took a, it took a lot of uh, skin, grass, and uh, they, 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 they took my bag. I gotta take my whole bag. My whole bag. been great, you know, here. Trying to provide dog food, trying to provide wet food, it's trying to provide everything in a while. Because they're stressed out. We have injured animals on the side as well. They're taking care of all that here medically. She couldn't get out of our garages. The first floor flooded. Uh, we were high and dry, but we just couldn't get out to go anywhere until today. First thing didn't help. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we wanted we to. Can, yeah. <laughs> This is our city and we love to help. Thanks for everyone out there that helped me now in volunteering. Coming, coming to the bridge was the guys with the, the motorboat. Yeah, yeah there's no way that we could have made it um, to the bridge in the first place because the water was way too deep and we saw like a police car completely submerged underwater so and the water was the current was really fast. This is my best friend. Not only that, but when, I, uh, when I'm in public and I'm uh, maybe having a seizure or something, she just makes me feel better. <laughs> Taking all those scratches. <laughs> We're all in this together. Yes.
I, I live by the motto, look good, feel good. So. I don't have millions of dollars to give, but I go to work every day cutting hair, and this is a talent that I had that I wanted to give to other people. Anything that I could do to help, I'm just gonna do. I, I live by the motto, look good, feel good. You feel, you're looking bad, you feeling bad, that just don't work. It's been uplifting. A lot of people down about, you know, circumstances, but uh, one thing about a haircut, it could change your, your, how you feel about your day, boosts your self-esteem. It could turn into just a whole confidence booster for you. And it's also time where you can escape from reality for a little bit while you're sitting in the chair, so. I'm going to pull us all through this, though. You know, we're going to make it. You know, the hope is still alive. All right? Thank you. Once you are registered, please make your way into the shelter completely, allowing people behind you the opportunity to make their way up. I'm doing everything, just distribution of uh, clothing, uh, clothing, uh, food, whatever the people may need. What? The turquoise? Great. The people are really, really nice. Really nice. I've been here since day one, and I'll be here till the till the end. People need us, like uh, we need them. Don't panic because when when the water starts coming in, you're panicking. You don't you don't make good decisions. So just trust in God, don't panic, and love the people that are close to you, and help people. You know, with all that's going on in this world right now, we're starting to see how people can really come together. seen 24 hours right here at the George R. Brown Convention Center. It's really incredible to watch the stories, to see how people are reaching out. Essentially, what you're looking at is a human chain, everybody, of compassion and love. 